Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsman Ad News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick video on Slovakia. As right now, they're falling 3-1 to one to Canada, heading into the third period of that game as I record this video. But this is going to be on the first two games as they are able to be triumphant in their first game, riding that momentum <clears throat> um, from meddling in the Olympics into beating France after France was able to come back and tie it on them after Slovakia went up 2-0 to Kosh was able to score the winning goal in that game and win that game for Slovakia after France did battle back and then Regenda sealed it. Now in the second game, it wasn't as smooth sailing, obviously, uh, for the Slovaks as they were not able to get a win in that game as Germany was able to get off to a very hot 2 to nothing start on Adam Huska and Slovakia, the New York Rangers prospect who was good for the a wolf pack this year still growing to try to be an NHL goaltender and they were able to get two past him as um <clears throat> Plotchta was able to score for him and then Preferdal or however you say his name he was also able to score for Germany as well as they were able to go up two to nothing the one goal was on a brilliant um play as they were able to get a steal as Slavkowski was able to pass it they were able to come back down and get a nice cut to the net as the net was coming off and it ended up hitting off of of Slovakia's players so sometimes you got to get a little bit of luck as well and then Preferdal Leonard Preferdal was able to make it the second goal and then Pospisil did have a very nice wraparound goal where the biggest miss I would say usually I don't have a play a misplay of the game but I would say a misplay of the game that really affected this game was, I don't know who the defenseman was, I can't remember coming in, but the decision to shoot by Slovakia's defenseman when Tomas Tatar was wide open in front of Cage in that game too with about 6.20 something left, I want to say, um, that was a big no-no for me. Obviously, you want to pass it to the wide open cutting player in front, and that could have maybe changed the outcome of this game. But also, Slovakia, very good one-on-one -on -one start in the first two. It looks like, unfortunately, as I speak, they're going to be one and three after their first three as they had a good first against Canada coming out at the one-to-one one one after that. But now they're down three-to-one as we speak. But in the first two, they had a very good first game against France, are able to win four-to-two. Takash had the winning goal. Pospisil was able to have them battle back against Germany, and they really could have tied that if they sold the tar in the cut. They just missed them. So I thought they played a solid overall game against Germany. I thought Germany just played very good defensively, and Grubauer was very good in cage as well. And then, of course, that combined with that missed pass, <clears throat> well, that's not going to win them the game because Germany limited their shots to under 30. I think they had 29, and they kept them to the outside a lot. And then, like I said, Grubauer had a good game in cage, so I think it comes down to really, they had a good game, just a couple misplays. The most blatant is, of course, that mispass to Tatar. But this has been a video on Slovakia thus far in the IIHF tournament. Please continue to subscribe down below. Above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June.